the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization reveals that between 2014 and 2016, about 795 million people are hungry in a global population of about 7.3 billion people. 780 million people, or 98.1% of the hungry people, live in developing countries, including Nigeria. The UN's population projection states that the dietary consumption patterns of the world is expected to surge to about 9 billion by 2050. The UN is also forecasting that Nigeria will be the third most populated country in the world by 2050. For these reasons, the government, through the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development, is stepping up action on the agricultural transformation agenda of the government, with the aim of sustaining the modules of improving food security for the nation. The Agriculture Promotion Policy 2016-2020, to also known as the Green Alternative, focuses on comprehensive livestock development, input access and transformation, expanded access to financial markets, value addition and processing support, and agricultural water management and others. Nigeria is the world's largest producer of yam, accounting for over 70 to 76 percent of the world production, or 35.0.17 million metric tons, with a value put at 5.654 billion U.S. dollars. Also, the forex restrictions on 41 items, including rise by the Central Bank of Nigeria, may have brought some benefits. This has led to a remarkable increase in local production of many of the listed items, such as rice, and reduction in their imports. Since the uh, harvest of rice has begun in earnest, the price of rice will become reasonable, and the cost of uh, rice, as we've been hearing of, would have reduced substantially. According to the Food and Agricultural Organization, the humanitarian crisis in the northeast region arising from Boko Haram insurgency in the country is affecting about 17 million people in Nigeria and some neighboring countries, exacerbating food insecurity owing to low food production and disruption of food markets. The prolonged crisis, especially in the northeastern part and other parts of the country, owing to clashes between herdsmen and farmers, appear to threaten the goal of the government's agriculture revolution plan. Benue State, known as the food basket of the nation, is currently bearing the brunt of this unresolved crisis, as the farmers now find it difficult to carry on with their age-old farming activities in the face of herdsmen attacks. Whichever way this challenge is handled, will definitely have a huge impact on the country's food production in either boosting the food production itself in the long run or imperil the plan for Nigeria's